That's actually the <laughs> the hardest level to do, small Mario only. And I think Riker Z agrees with me on that. Hello, turret boss. Welcome to Mario E and hello, Wolf Wolfmeister. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good news is for you, Riker Z, that that skip saves so much time that if you realize you're going to botch the jump. And hello, never mind. Um, you know, you can attempt it like, what, four or five times and still save time over just doing the level normally. Oh, thank you, Elemental Guard. I'm actually a little disappointed I only gained a second there, but... You can leap of faith, like, between the ghosts, not in the big gap, but just kind of in the smaller gaps between the ghosts, but... Again, the hit detection in this game is sometimes a little strange. So if I'm not going for some kind of, like, world record, I'm not going to chance it. Uh, yeah, you save after the tower, and then you... Uh, I'll save here as well. Because this is the other troll level, despite what Riker Z says. <laughs> And Riker Z will no doubt criticize me for spending way too much time on the top half of the screen, but whatever. Next game. Because whenever I try to go to the bottom half of the screen, what invariably ends up happening is I forget about the Buzzy Beetles and I die. Oh jeez! Wow. Okay. I had no business surviving that jump. As much as, you know, I like to complain about the RNG in this level, and as much as speedrunners in general like to complain about quote-unquote being trolled by, uh, by games, uh, I will admit I had no business surviving that jump. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't need one-ups, yeah. I don't know about that. Boom. Hello, Vanderhoek. X. <laughs> Your constructive criticism. No, you've, uh, you actually have given me some good advice. Uh, like the start of 1-3, doing that triple jump. And you told me how to do something else in 1-3-2 to go a little faster. But I forget completely what it was. So, which is my own fault. And hello, Bridicus. Welcome to Mario Wii, small Mario only. This guy. Jump over this. So hopefully everybody has uh, enjoyed the stream to this point. Whoops. Lost a little bit of time there, but that's okay.
silly things people get in. Yes, <laughs> the MTI rant. Which, uh, I didn't really have a proper MTI rant tonight. I guess the one about, uh, I guess the one about my amusement that people complain there are too many charity gaming marathons is probably the closest I came to an MTI rant. Hello, Dark CEO. How's it going? Marathons would do for today, yeah, especially with the high concentration of them. I mean... <laughs> but like I said, I understand... I kind of understand the point that's being made. Well, not kind of. I do understand the point that's being made, but, you know. I'm, I'm something of a stream addict, as Mrs. MTI can tell you. <laughs> Probably too much of a stream addict, to be honest. So yeah, marathons, heck yeah, let's... I've, uh, I've actually stated that, you know, if some practically infinitely wealthy benefactor wanted to set up some kind of, like, full-time headquarters where just, like, people from SDA would just, like, charity marathon essentially full-time, like, that would be totally awesome. That would be very cool with me. Like, I could totally handle that. Uh, I was not going to make that jump. And hello, Super Tinu. Hello, I have no name, SDA. Hmm, interesting. I hadn't considered it from that angle before. Uh, what do you mean, Byzantium? I'm a little... Yeah, well, Riker Z, the, uh... That is true, but I find that in that case, like, a good commentator can hold, you know, can hold your attention. Uh, okay, hello, Dolsky. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. All right. Okay, so you're essentially holding a lottery is what you're saying. All right. Could have jumped a little faster there, but whatever. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's true. It's actually something, um, without getting too into the details, it's something we grapple with at Kineticon, because we would, uh, we would like to start offering cash prizes for tournaments, but because of the way the gambling laws are written, we can't. Um, so yeah, I get what you're saying. So you're not talking about, like, stuff like what I do, where, you know, if you donate a certain amount, I, you know, give you some kind of reward. But, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying now. Hello, uh, DLKF and, uh, Lila, is that? And hello, Miami Andy 513. Welcome, I'm, uh... Right, right, okay, and hello, Sambria. I'm getting a lot of new faces here, which is actually pretty awesome. So, uh, welcome to everybody. Welcome to all the, uh, new people. Um, for the next probably month or so, you're going to be seeing a lot of NSMB Wii, as, uh, first I practice it for the Nintendo All-Stars Marathon, and then, uh, Mrs. MTI and myself practice it for Awesome Games Done Quick 2013. Uh, after AGDQ 2013, I'll settle back into a bit more normal, uh, varied schedule. Right, I see what you're saying. So. Mm -hmm. 
Well, yeah, see, Elemental Guard, that's the problem, is that for all, uh, like, people, for all that people have their nostalgia goggles on, uh, new games and short games do not oftentimes, uh, they, they, there's not a big overlap, except in the case of, like, maybe more indie-type games. Also, hello, Malabard. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Oh, I did that too quick, didn't I? Oh, no. Okay, cool. I guess that's true as well, Riker Z. Uh, I guess for purposes of marathons, I'll define long as anything over two hours. I mean, yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty arbitrary distinction, but. Which, I mean, I guess in that case, you know, a lot of games would technically be quote-unquote short. But they would be on the longer end of short, let's put it that way. Oh, hello, wah-wah-wee-wah. And hello, Dom the Peng. Uh, I'll save because, I guess. Welcome back, Nanagith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I see what you mean, Rikersy. No doubt. I've actually screwed those jumps up before, so... Yeah, even even runs that aren't super long sometimes have that, though. Like, my Willow run is... Uh, my Willow run that's on SDA is about an hour and a half long, and of that hour and a half, 20 minutes or so is just grinding. <laughs> Because I basically get to near the end of the game at, like, level 6, and I need to be at level 13 to actually beat the game. Because you can't uncurse Finn Raziel until you're level 13. If you try before then, you just turn her from a possum uh, into, like, all sorts of other different animals. Oh, man, those net splits. Or, you know, that uh, that Twitch being obnoxious. Alright, I gotta pay attention here. Yeah, like, Mega Man X 100% is a good length. Um, you know. Even for more casual speedrunning. Like, even casually speedrunning Mega Man X 100%, once you do it a couple times, you can easily do it in, like, under, say, an hour. Uh, my best time on it, I think, was, like, 41 minutes. Yeah, JRPGs, definitely. <laughs> Hello, this better work. Cam, <laughs> okay, getting in touch with his feminine side. All right. Okay. 